Air forces around the world are constantly seeking transport aircraft with greater flexibility, reliability, and performance. For decades, the C-130 has been the backbone of military airlift operations, a true icon of strength and endurance, efficient cruise performance, and its ability to operate in the harshest environments across the globe. However, times have changed. Modern military operations now demand an aircraft that is more advanced, more adaptable, and driven by next-generation technology, and the name emerging as the most promising successor to the legendary C-130 is none other than the Embraer C-390. But why is the C-390 considered the top choice today? How can it kill the legendary C-130? Let's find out. The story behind the creation of the Embraer C-390 Millennium is not merely about an ambitious technological project, it is also the tale of a direct response to an urgent national defense need. The greatest and most decisive driving force behind the entire C-390 program was the necessity to replace the Brazilian Air Force's FAB aging fleet of Lockheed C-130 Hercules transport aircraft. As a long-standing strategic partner of Embraer, the FAB required a new generation medium-sized tactical transport aircraft capable of meeting the complex operational demands of the 21st century with superior speed range and fuel efficiency compared to the legendary workhorse C-130. This seemed to be an extremely difficult mission as the Hercules was still at the peak of its technology and capability at that time. However, on April 2007, Embraer, which had been building military aircraft for the FAB since 1969, officially announced its intention to develop this aircraft initially inspired by the E-190 commercial airframe. The financial and strategic backing of the FAB was crucial turning the project from a concept sketch into a realizable goal. To make the replacement feasible, the FAB signed a $1.5 billion contract with Embraer in April 2009, funding the development and production of two prototypes officially kicking off the program. This confirmed that the C-390 was designed not just to compete in the market, but to actively succeed the aging C-130 fleet. In short, without the FAB's urgent need and substantial investment, the C-390 project might never have taken off. Originally named C-390, the aircraft was later rebranded KC-390 to reflect its aerial refueling capability. Following an extensive testing campaign, the final version named C-390 Millennium was officially unveiled and began deliveries in 2019. Strategically designed to be the direct successor to the C-130 Hercules the Millennium, set itself apart with its technological superiority. It is among the few medium-lift military transports powered by jet engines, rather than traditional turboprops, allowing it to achieve significantly higher speed and range, as well as greater operational efficiency on extended missions. Combining the performance advantages of a jet aircraft with remarkable operational versatility, the tanker has proven itself to be a truly capable and practical solution. Embraer succeeded in developing a platform that not only fulfilled Brazil's domestic replacement needs, but also redefined the global military airlift segment. The proof is its success quickly spread beyond Brazil, became a rising star on the international market, securing contracts with several NATO member nations such as Portugal, Hungary, the Netherlands, and Sweden. Notably, when the world saw what it was truly capable of, there was no longer any doubt. The aircraft is equipped with the most advanced technologies to optimize its overall performance. The C-390 features a fly-by-wire flight control system and active side-stick controls allowing it to withstand load factors of up to 3G. Its hydraulically actuated flaps are supported by an independent electrical backup system to ensure maximum reliability. The short downward sloping nose improves pilot visibility, while the cockpit is fitted with the Rockwell Collins Proline Fusion Avionics Suite, the same system used on Embraer's legacy 450 and 500 business jets. Both the pilot and co-pilot have access to head-up displays HUD as part of an advanced vision system that includes four cameras and night vision goggle compatibility. These technologies not only enhance precision and safety, but also reduce pilot workload and increase situational awareness and operational flexibility advantages that the C-130 simply cannot match. In terms of aerodynamics, the C-390 features extended flaps and high-lift devices that can deflect up to 40 degrees, allowing the aircraft to descend at up to 9,000 feet per minute at a maximum indicated airspeed of 560 km per hour. Its stall speed is just 193 km per hour with flaps fully deployed. The aircraft can operate from semi-prepared airstrips, even those with potholes as deep as 40 cm. The spacious cargo hold, measuring 18.5 meters long, 3.45 meters wide, and 2.95 meters high, supports a maximum payload of 26 tons, enabling it to carry two M113 tracked armored vehicles, 
one VBTP MR Gorani wheeled APC, one UH-60 helicopter, 74 stretchers with life support equipment, or up to 80 troops, 66 fully equipped paratroopers. In addition, the C-390 is also fitted with a computer-assisted fuel management and offloading system from Rockwell Collins, allowing pilots to operate the rear cargo ramp without requiring a dedicated loadmaster. Equipped with Cobham's 912E aerial refueling system, the aircraft can transfer fuel through two wing-mounted probe and drogue pods at rates of up to 1,500 liters per minute within a speed range of 220 to 560 km per hour. Additionally, Brazilian Air Force variants are equipped with Elbit Systems defensive suites including radar and missile warning receivers as well as chaff and flare dispensers for enhanced survivability. Not only that, the most fundamental difference between the Embraer C390 Millennium and the Lockheed C130, Hercules lies in their engine systems and overall technological architecture which define their performance. While the Hercules including the modern C130J, is based on a 1950s era design powered by four turboprop engines. The Millennium is a completely new design featuring two turbofan jet engines. The C390's propulsion is provided by two V2500 E5 turbofan engines, enabling it to achieve a cruise speed of 540 miles per hour and a top speed of 615 miles per hour. On the other hand, the C130's quartet of Allison T56 a-15 turboprop engines offers a comparable cruise speed of about 540 miles per hour, but a lower maximum speed of 592 miles per hour. Notably, this transition from turboprop to jet power brings a critical strategic advantage. The Millennium achieves significantly higher speeds, longer range, and greater efficiency on extended missions, reducing response times for both military and humanitarian operations. This makes maintenance much easier. Aircraft with fewer engines typically incur lower operational and maintenance costs, and the C-390's twin-engine setup is more cost-effective than the C-130's four-engine configuration. This translates to savings in both parts and labor, as well as shorter periods of maintenance downtime. Moreover, the C-390's IAE V2500 turbofan engines shared with the Airbus A320 simplify maintenance and spare parts acquisition. Although the C-130J maintains advantages in range extensive global service support and political backing from Washington, the market still presents substantial opportunities for Embraer's C-390 to carve out its niche. In 2011, Embraer announced plans for a civilian version of the KC-390 with an extended fuselage. The aircraft is operated by a three-person crew pilot, co-pilot, and loadmaster. It measures 35.2 meters in length, with a wingspan of 35.05 meters, a height of 11.84 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of 87 tons. Besides, it is powered by two IAE V2500 E5 turbofan engines, each delivering 139.4 kilonewtons of thrust, enabling a maximum speed of 988 kilometers per hour and a cruise speed of 870 kilometers per hour. Notably, its operational ceiling reaches 11,000 meters, 36,000 feet, with a range of 2,820 kilometers carrying 23 tons of cargo, or 2,110 kilometers with 26 tons. In summary, the C-390 represents a new generation of tactical airlifters, combining the high-speed performance of a jet aircraft with the rugged operational capability of traditional transports. It poses a serious challenge to the C-130's decades-long dominance, offering lower operating and maintenance costs alongside superior overall efficiency. In today's defense landscape, American aerospace giants no longer hold the edge in low-cost mass production. Their focus on high-margin defense programs has made the creation of affordable transport aircraft increasingly rare. Meanwhile, Embraer, with its pragmatic engineering and lean structure, has spotted a golden opportunity. Over the next decade, the world will need an estimated 695 new military transport aircraft to replace aging fleets, a demand that Lockheed Martin's Super Hercules program is unlikely to satisfy. Though Lockheed has the financial and technological muscle to expand output, such a move is considered economically impractical. Furthermore, the era when Washington handed out surplus transport aircraft at little or no cost to its allies is now over as the U.S. itself seeks replacements for its aging C-1 Therites. Into this void steps the C-390 Millennium. By the end of 2024 and into early 2025, the multi-role transport aircraft had already secured 44 firm orders, a remarkable figure for such a young program, particularly in Europe, where it now competes head-to-head -head with the legendary C-130 Hercules. Just four weeks ago, Embraer finalized a deal with Sweden for four C-390 Millennium aircraft, with options for up to seven more under a joint procurement program led by the Netherlands and Austria. 
Following the announcement, Embraer's stock surged sharply signaling strong market confidence in the Brazilian manufacturer's momentum. Only two weeks later, Embraer announced it had begun assembly of the first C-390 for the Swedish Air Force at its Gavião Peixoto facility, marking a key production milestone. This deal not only reinforces Brazil-Sweden defense cooperation already strong through the Gripen fighter program, but also paves the way for broader deployment of the millennium across Europe. For Sweden, the aircraft offers greater payload capacity, higher cruise speed, and outstanding multi-mission versatility. For Embraer, it represents a strategic foothold in Europe beyond its existing customers, Portugal-Hungary and the Netherlands. Sweden's order also carries symbolic and strategic weight. It adds another major NATO nation to Embraer's client list, strengthening order book quality and improving factory utilization as deliveries ramp up. The seven additional options provide growth potential without immediate financial strain, while the joint Dutch-led procurement framework ensures shared training spare parts and configuration management cutting life cycle costs and boosting service profit margins. Strategically, Sweden's choice of the Millennium plants a strong flag in Northern Europe influencing other nations currently evaluating replacements for their aging Hercules fleets. It also expands Embraer's European ecosystem, tightening its logistical support network and enhancing the program's political durability. Operationally, the C-390 delivers faster response times, greater payload, and flexible mission conversion, covering airlift, aerial refueling, and medevac configurations, all with fewer sorties. Through joint procurement with the Netherlands and Austria, it achieves remarkable interoperability across NATO operations. Economically, this acquisition doubles Sweden's industrial investment ties with Brazil following its earlier purchase of the Gripen fighters. Politically, early production serves as tangible proof of progress, allowing lawmakers to demonstrate exactly where taxpayer money is going. From a once underestimated challenger, the C-390 Millennium has emerged as the modern indispensable choice, a next-generation transport aircraft that every Air Force must now take seriously.